Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro, also known as the Mi 90 Pro, codename Raphael and Raphael N. Now today we are talking about yet another Android 12 ROM that is Pixel Extended. I've installed it yesterday, been on it for 24 hours. I've had the benchmarks, the battery backup, the charging, and this is the 24 hour review which defines for you should you install and try this ROM or not. But before we get into the details, well, if you like watching custom ROM stuff every single day, we upload two to three videos. So please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really really motivates us and if you think you like chatting with like-minded people with similar devices please join us on telegram we have more than a thousand people over there doing some amazing stuff there and we are available on instagram twitter and facebook as well so join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going So let's see what we have here. Pixel Extended Android 12 Beta updated on the 31st of October 2021. So that is a fairly recent ROM. Now the notes say that this is an initial Android 12 release. Back up your data beforehand. Even if it is not mentioned in the notes, it's always a good thing to do so. Now use latest Android 11 firmware for your device region. So in this case, this is a K20 Pro. So you should be using 12.5.1 firmware. This uses the OSS vendor, Arrow kernel and UDFPS implementation. That means the fingerprint scanner should be working great. The ROM has GApps included, so that is great. Now, the only bug that they have mentioned over here is SE Linux is permissive. And I'm pretty sure as this is an initial release, later they will go ahead and definitely fix it. Now, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this particular ROM. This, of course, is your Android 12 based custom ROM. So it does come with the Monet UI, Material U doing all its magic and all the Android 12 goodies that you were expecting when Android 12 was announced. Now, the moment you boot into this ROM, you will see that this is a very similar, very clear pixel-esque ROM, which has very few applications, not much bloatware. It comes with the Google search bar at the bottom with your Google Lens, the Google Now mic and this Google search shortcut. At the same time, you have the assistant shortcut to the corners as well, right? Now, to the left, you have Google feed. Now, I do have dark mode enabled, so I'm quickly going to go ahead and disable that for you guys because most of you all have been requesting me to make videos in the light mode or the white background. So let's go to display and let's go ahead and disable this. Now, I'm pretty sure this looks okay to you guys. Now, you would wonder, despite all of this, why is the notification drawer or notification tiles or stuff background there black? That's because of the wallpaper. So now, let's talk about the ROM. In the quick tiles, you do have your usual Android 12 stuff. You do have your screen recorder, which allows you to record internal and external audio. And this is a K20 Pro, remember, so we should not have any issues with the screen recorder. So it is recording the screen, but there are no stutters, no jitters, no problems whatsoever. So let's quickly go ahead and stop the screen recording here. The screen recording has been processed. There you go, power of 855 working absolutely fine there. There you go. So the screen recording works fine, no problem as such over there. So you can record your gameplay and stuff like that. Now, moving on, you, if you go ahead and edit this, you have your privacy tiles. You can block your camera, mic and location access. And then you have extra dim and a bunch of other things. The only additional thing that I find over here is Moto Audio. Now remember for Pixel Extended, this is an initial build, which means they might not have that much of a customization and that might be some bugs. So we will talk about the bugs later. But for now, the UI is pretty fluid, pretty solid. And if you go to home settings, you will see that this is the Pixel Launcher, which comes with minimalistic customization. If you go to widgets, you have your standard Android 12 widgets, which are working absolutely fine. And then you have wallpaper in style, which is what Monet UI is all about. So say if you go to change wallpaper and you maybe select something like this, which is based on red accents and select this home and lock screen. Always, there you go. The whole UI changes the style and color, which is really, really neat. And it looks pretty funky as well. So the Monet UI is working absolutely fine. If you talk about, say, the calculator application, it does follow the Monet theming system. So the calculator applications follows Monet UI, but for some reason, the calendar is not. I'm pretty sure that should be updated later. Once again, if you go to wallpaper and style, you do have themed icons beta, right? So go ahead and enable that. And as you can see, it is theming the system applications just fine and it looks brilliant. 
so that is something really really neat now moving on let's actually go to settings over here let's go to about phone and let's go to the android version now as you can see over here this is android version 12 so the moment you take the clock to 12 o'clock you have all these colors popping up the kernel of course is the puff kernel they did mention that this rom comes with aero kernel uh there might be some confusion there or maybe the kernel is not renamed or something like that let's go ahead and have a look this is the k20 pro updates and we are talking about pixel extended and it does say that it is coming with aero kernel so no worries there this is android 12 with the october security patch and it does say the extended version is beta so we can let go of things now now you have your usual stuff over here everything is almost the same as you see in stock pure android 12 but the thing that stands out is snow house now remember this is an initial build so it does have some customization but it doesn't really have a ton of customization is what we are talking about you have the option to enable or disable the 4g icon you can enable or disable the volti icon vibrate on touch and then on lock screen it is blank then you have in-call vibration working and then under hardware there is no customization moving on if you actually go to battery you will see that you do have the thermal profiles over here and you do have the option to enable the gaming mode which increases the touch sensitivity or touch sampling rate to 180 hertz so that is something really neat and if you talk about the battery usage as you can see over here most of the time this phone has been off and whenever it has been on i've been doing the testing for you guys like telegram and to the benchmark making calls you know sending and receiving text messages and all that stuff is what i have been testing and everything for me for now has been working absolutely okay for example if you go to network and internet and you go to mobile network at the bottom you will have this option called wi-fi calling now the moment you enable this as you can see so let's go ahead and call 198 right so as you can see over here it does show an indication of wi-fi calling which is really really neat now the camera situation on this rom is very very simple as you can see over here it comes with a very very basic camera application and there is google camera go as well so you will be able to click decent pictures you should not have any problems clicking pictures and stuff like that and the customization level on this particular rom is decent for an initial build is what i would say now quickly let's talk about the charging the charging has been just fine it has not been you know complete 27 watts and stuff like that it's been anywhere between 18 to 25 watts so not the fastest charging in the world but yes it does charge fine and it'll take a little longer say 30 minutes longer than the stock rom to charge completely and moving on let's talk about the benchmark numbers real quick so if you go to photos over here we have a screenshot so on pixel extended android 12 this is what the cpu throttle test looks like 188 548 gips of average performance and cpu throttle to 91 percent of its max performance now let's go to geekbench real quick and let's have a look at the score for geekbench as well 724 single core 2417 multi-core enter to failed to run on this rom as well now another important factor for most of you is if the device is play store certified or not as you can see over here device is certified which also means if you go ahead and run the safety net test it will pass just fine and if you ask me about drm remember in one of the previous videos i had lost my drm right now the l1 is present so your amazon prime video should be working just fine the app icon animations are great the charging and the battery backup is pretty decent pixel extended version 1 or whatever you want to call it the initial build of android 12 is looking great i've not had any catastrophic issues which will stop me from recommending you guys to give it a try and see how it feels the only aspect we have not tested is gaming you can test that and let me know in the comment section because i'll wait for android 12 roms to be almost completely stable before we actually judge them on the gaming performance let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye